Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Shuang. Both China's Coronavac and the Sinopharm COVID vaccines are inactivated vaccines which use killed SARS-CoV-2 virus. Researchers say this type of vaccine seems to be less potent because it triggers an immune response against many viral proteins. By contrast, mRNA and viral vector vaccines targeted the response to the spike protein, which is what the virus used to enter human cells. These two vaccines account for almost 50% of COVID-19 vaccines doses delivered globally. China administered about 2.4 billion doses of the vaccines to its citizens, but almost 1 billion doses have gone to 110 other countries, particularly the less wealthy nations, according to Nature's report. But as the doses mount, so have the data, with the studies suggesting that the immunity from two doses of either vaccine wanes rapidly, and the protection offered to older people is limited. Last week, the World Health Organization announced advice from its Strategic Advisory Group of Experts on Immunization SAGE, that people over 60 should receive a third dose of the same or another vaccine to ensure sufficient protection. Many countries which used the Chinese vaccines reported the COVID-19 surges earlier this year, for example, Seychelles and Indonesia. It has sparked a debate about their waning protection and the need for boosters. Numerous studies have now been undertaken in nations including Brazil, Chile, and Thailand to understand waning immunity and protection in different groups. Some studies have found that compared with vaccines made using other technologies, China's inactivated vaccines initially generated lower levels of neutralizing or virus-blocking antibodies, considered a proxy for protection, and that these levels drop quickly over time. A study of 185 healthcare workers in Thailand revealed that after receiving a second dose of CoronaVac, only 60% had high levels of neutralizing antibodies one month. After three months, the antibody prevalence dropped to just 12% in the same group. In comparison, those who received two shots of AstraZeneca vaccines, 86% had high levels of antibodies one month. Please be noted, this particular study is not yet peer-reviewed. A study from Hong Kong indicated that a CoronaVac induces a significantly lower antibody response compared with the Pfizer-BioNTech's mRNA jab one month after two doses. However, the T-cell response was comparable, although this study has not yet peer-reviewed. Almost all vaccines have seen a similar trend of waning antibodies and protection against infection, but more robust protection against severe diseases and death. How can protection wane against mild or asymptomatic infection while staying strong against a severe disease? It's because the human immune system is complex. Antibodies from the first line of defense, stopping a virus from getting into some cells in the body, this is the protection that starts to wear off after time. But there is a second line of defense, cell-based immunity. Cells called B cells and T cells can take longer to generate than antibodies, but they provide a longer-lived broader defense against infection and are responsible for decrease in severe infections. So while people may be susceptible to mild illness after they've been vaccinated, they're much less likely to get really sick, end up in the hospital or die. But the researchers say that because the Chinese inactivated vaccines start at a lower base of neutralizing antibodies, the protection they offer could drop faster than those with a stronger head start, the Nature report said. However, a drop in protection can prove deadly for the elderly. 
an analysis of about 1 million people hospitalized with COVID-19 in Brazil showed that the CoronaVac offered up to 60% protection against severe disease up to the age of 79. But in people over 80, CoronaVac was only 30% effective at preventing severe diseases and 45% effective against death. As a result, several countries including Chile, Abu Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and China are giving booster jabs of mRNA or viral vector vaccines to people who received the CoronaVac or Sinopharm vaccines, the report said. Clinical trial data from China, not yet peer-reviewed, suggest that a third dose of CoronaVac increases neutralizing antibody levels. And a similar boost has been observed in studies of third doses of Sinopharm's vaccine. In early, in early October, the Chilean government reported the preliminary results on the effectiveness of boost shots based on data from some 2 million people who had received two shots of CoronaVac and a third shot of the CoronaVac, Pfizer Biotech or Oxford AstraZeneca vaccines. Protection against COVID-19 jumped from 56% after two shots to 80% or higher after a third shot of any vaccine with protection against hospitalizing rising from 84% to 87%. Some researchers say an alternative to a three-dose schedule might be to mix and match with just two doses. It is not yet clear how long that protection will last and how these antibody levels translate to actual protection. But the researchers say such mixing has merit. Indeed, for all vaccines, it's very much an evolving situation. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I will see you again shortly.